Bungalow Bill here, and welcome back to From the Depths. Today, I'm showing off how to change pack lenses, and this is a thing that you can do with the separator blocks. And I got the idea from Sam Stash. He did a video about changing APS gauge, and at the end of it mentioned you could do a similar thing for packs. So here it is. There's a bunch of ACBs. There's a breadboard. The breadboard takes your input. It throttles it so that spamming the keys doesn't break this, although it does, and I didn't bother to fix it. And it then sends those outputs to these ACBs. So if I go and hit the right key on the keyboard, what it did was detach this lens from the main vehicle, attach it to the sub object, rotate the spin block 90 degrees, then it detached these melee lenses from the spin block, attached them to the main construct, and we've gone from a long, a long range lens to a melee lens. If these two lenses had different focuses, which is something that you could normally not specify through breadboards or ACBs, I can also go and swap to my other long range lens, or I can swap to closer range lenses, but not melee lenses instead. For this many lenses, it takes up a lot of space, a lot of cost. It's a complicated mechanism. Separator blocks are a bit iffy sometimes, and so is the relationship between the breadboard and the ACBs. Separators can only be triggered through the ACBs, so if breadboards get the ability to trigger separators directly, it'll become much more reliable and much more viable in actual vehicles, although I might still start building a vehicle that needs this anyway. But you know, for the small amount of tubing and all of these lenses, obviously not worth it. But you could imagine a vehicle where this is highly profitable and to some extent even partially degenerate, being able to switch from a long range weapon to a melee weapon. Well, anyway, that's all for this video. I'll be putting this up on the workshop. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope to see you in the future.